Hey Libra, what's going on? Thank you guys for joining me. Thank you guys for all the likes, comments, subscribe, shares, views, tips, donations, and bookings. I see you guys much love and light. I hope you guys are doing well. So let's get straight into it and see what's going on with you guys at this time. Spirit, what's the overall energy surrounding the Libras? We have release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Okay, so Libra. Your ex's energy is all up in this reading. Um, it's time for you to release your ex for some. Cleanse your energy, but let's get right into it. All right, brass, let's get into it and see what's going on. Spirit, what is the message here in regards to their ex? What is this energy here, release your ex? We have the Eight of Swords. So you could be definitely up in your head a lot about this ex, still feeling emotional. Who's up in their head? The juggler. <laughs> so whoever juggled is up in their head, okay? Could have been them. Could have been you. I don't know. But they're up in their head about juggling. Um, or you're up in your head about the fact that they juggled you, right? So you're being called to cleanse your energy. Three of Swords, so you could currently feel heartbroken. You could currently feel in pain, okay, because of a third-party situation here. Um, what's the message? Right, Spirit wants you to turn your back on that. Focus on manifesting. Focus on your business. Um, building a business if you don't have one. Um, but if you do, it's like focus on that. Turn your back. Watch your ships come in. Also, it's like turning your back on the, on the pain. Um, this definitely happened in the past. I don't know how long ago in the past because you, all you guys are on different timelines. But for the most part, it's like I really need you to turn your back on this pain. This could get you upset um, and make you feel left out. It also could be affecting your finances, okay? It's like staying up in your head is like you're not juggling your finances or balancing them out. For some, maybe you felt like that you had like some type of infinite connection to this person. Clarify the three of wands. Nine, right, nine, nine. Nine of pentacles, nine of cups. Yeah, so it's like you're single, you're very abundant. Also, it's like, for some of you guys, you could be doing very well with a business here, okay? Also, for some, maybe it's your wish fulfillment to start a business, to become an entrepreneur here. And for some, it's like you're just sitting on, sitting on something, maybe an idea or 99 could be significant. Maybe you were born in 99. Maybe your ex was born in 99. But this could be a Virgo. But it's like you're single. Also, it's like you turn your back and start focusing on what you're manifesting. And then you do become abundant. Single, sexy, abundant, and free, right? Have your wish fulfilled. For some of you, it's like you need to turn your back on this ex. Because once you do, there's going to be a King of Wands energy. That's going to be your wish fulfillment. <laughs> Period. Spirit said, turn your back. So you can see this King of Wands. What's going on with this King of Wands? Page of Pentacles. Right. This may be something at a new job. This, could, this is definitely someone's trustworthy. This is also someone that wants to give to you. This is definitely a new connection. You could have met this person at your job for some. <laughs> okay, Spurs. Spurs said, turn your back. So, and see this King of Wands. <laughs> what do you want them to know about? Um, Right, for some, maybe this person, look, the big ass X on there, clarifying the three of swords. So, yeah, maybe for some, you could still feel heartbroken 
um maybe this person is not posting feminists for some of you guys you could still be like stalking this person or investigating this person let's just say that um but maybe they're off the grid for some they could have deleted some accounts just being really incognito that could have hurt you for some of you it's like this person could have juggled you and then went off the grid okay but for some of my feminines here you're watching Tower responsibly. If it doesn't apply, let it fly, okay? Take what resonates. Leave what does not. Y'all grown as hell. Let's see. Um, Right. Definitely this separation has you in your feelings here. For some of you, it's like you're so emotionally detached from your finances, though. Don't do that. So tell me more about this King of Wands over here. This person is a leader, a boss, an entrepreneur for some. So it's like, again, if you're not this business owner or you don't aspire to have a business, maybe you just work your 9 to 5, 7 to 3, 10 to 6, whatever works for you and you're content and happy, shout out to you guys. For some of you, this person is a boss, an entrepreneur here. Tell me more about this King of Wands. For some... This person could be a family friend. This person definitely knows their worth. They have dignity. Also, this person is someone that will see your worth. For some of you here, yeah, ex lover, self care, crown chakra, social media, and beach vibes. For some, you may meet this King of Wands on the beach. But again, it's about cleansing your ex out of your energy. I mean, this is like two. Oh, I heard two for one. So yeah, it's like, oh, spirit said, and you clean your ex out your energy, then I get to give you the king of wands, your wish fulfillment. Okay, this person that's trustworthy, this person that is new. Also, this person could be like a new business owner. Yeah, for some, it's definitely about you guys maybe going back and looking at your ex's page. Um, for some, it's like maybe you're just so heartbroken at the fact that this ex was kind of like a lemon, like a car, right? That shit don't run right. It don't work. It's like you got duped out of your finance <laughs> and when you buy a lemon, right? So maybe for some of you, that's the way that you could fail in regards to this ex. Like, but it's really something that's plaguing you, they want me to say. And when they make me use plague, that means that it's really heavy, okay? It's like maybe like a haunting feeling to be in the Eight of Swords like this and then still getting very much so emotional about it. But again, for some, it this could also be your ex from two exes ago, okay? So definitely wanting you guys to cleanse your energy, some of you may need to take a spiritual bath, okay? But there's self-care. What about this self-care here? Right? Queen of Swords. It's like turn your back. Big fucking Libra energy. All right? She has her sword of truth. For some, it's like you just keep getting these negative thoughts and negative messages in regards to this person. Also, you could be upset at the fact that whatever you guys had going on, it didn't grow. It's like these trees look black behind her. And this is the first time I'm noticing that. So, it's like dead, okay? But also, for some of you here, it's the illusion that was behind your back, okay? Between these other two. But again, it's like turning your back on that, okay? Knowing the truth, seeing above the illusion here, all right? Also, releasing those negative thoughts in regards to this person, so definitely needing a spa day, self-care. Some of you guys may think about like having a rebirth with this person. But you're definitely single, but spirit just needs you to turn your back. And fast for some of you here. 
Yeah, for some of you, it's just needing to cleanse your energy and have some type of rebirth. It's like stomp that motherfucker out. Stomp them out your head. This could be a Scorpio or a Taurus. It's like maybe you really thought this was going somewhere. A high level of commitment, but... All right, tell me more about the King of Wands. Seven of Swords. So for some of you here, it's like you could look at this person like they're a cheater. Eight of Wands. Also, this person could be um, deceiving you in some type of way online. Like they showed me crushing on you when, when I first started asking about the King of Wands when I got the What's the Vibes 2 deck, right? So... This person could be like literally watching you online and you don't know for some. What about this King of Wands? Two of Swords. So for some of you, this King of Wands could be a Libra. You could be a Cross Watcher. Shout out to the Cross Watchers. Also... This King of Wands, maybe you guys can't. It's like you can't make a decision about letting 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 it go, making it happen with someone new. So let's see. Spray, what are the messages here? Release your ex. Take a spiritual bath. Can't fucking make it up. Y'all need, for some, y'all need to take a spiritual bath um, in regards to this ex. I don't know what's going on there, but for some, yeah, it's like you need to take some type of spiritual bath because that's what's affecting your emotions here. Lust. So maybe for some, it's like strictly about lust with this ex lover. Maybe you guys need to take a spiritual bath to cleanse that energy um, around lust and sex with this person. But this person was definitely very lustful. Weak as fuck. Spirit said weak as fuck too. For some of you here, maybe you've been feeling weak, right? This person was like stringing you along. Take a spiritual bath, okay? So let's see. For some, maybe you need to stop smoking a little. Align, right? It's like, and it went right over there. Spirit is trying to put you in alignment with a King of Wands energy that shares the same values as you, that has the vision for the lifestyle that you have. Okay, someone that is a business owner, um, for some of you, you could aspire to be a business owner or you already are. This person could also be a business owner. But it's like, I'm trying to put you in alignment. So it's like, take this spiritual bath, turn your back and move forward. And then there's your king of wands. Give me one for take a spiritual bath. Right, diversify. So for some of you here, it's definitely something about you sharing yourself with this person. Maybe you need to cleanse your, your aura. Maybe this person is all up in your energy, all up in your aura. Um, you were sleeping with this person. Um, and again, it's like this spiritual bath is going to be, what is it going to be? Justifying, satisfying, okay? So... For some, it's like, what about the Eight of Swords? Journal, yeah. So instead of being chopped up in your head, it's like, journal, write it down. Write down your feelings. How you feel about this. How this made you feel. So it's like you're not all stuck up in your head about it. It's like putting it on a paper, releasing it. Um, afterwards, maybe burn it. Rip it up. Um, but at least you got those feelings out. Some of you are being called to script as well. So that you're not in your own mental prison. Meditate. Yeah, for some of you, you definitely need to meditate. Take a spiritual bath. Meditate. 
um connect deeply with spirit also spirit wants you to like visualize your next steps moving forward and take inspired action to do this here and i'm trying to hello don't you want to meet your king of wands <laughs> thank you guys for joining me i'll send you love and light and i'll see you in the next one.